So as you just saw, almost at 100 kilos, wanted to give you a quick physique update to show you I still have abs, kind of. The sliding is really bad, but still got abs. The chest is lacking because of the injury. The injuries mainly affected the chest area, but it is starting to come through. You see a bit of chest gains here. Anyway, just wanted to show you what it looked like. And this is another full day of clean eating, followed by a back and triceps workout. So stay tuned. So it's breakfast time and you can see those gains in this t-shirt, can't you? Anyway, enough about that. So what I'm having for breakfast is a tuna salad. This tuna salad's got a bunch of stuff in it, but mainly it's a pecan tuna salad. It's got some mayo by Hunter you can gather. And that mayo is good stuff. It's made with avocado oil, no vegetable oils and so forth. I'll put the link in the description. I've talked about this on many occasions. This is really good mayo. It's paleo friendly. It's really good stuff. And they do a vegan version now as well. I'll drop the link in the description so you can pick up your own. So this and the strawberries and the green tea is my breakfast. It's not a conventional breakfast at all, but I'm doing targeted keto. Will I continue to do targeted keto forever? Who knows? But at the moment I'm doing targeted keto, so no carbs until the evening. Some people do it differently. Some people do it where they just have the carbs before the workout. As I've explained, you know, the videos will have like five grams of dextrose or 10 grams of dextrose before and about five grams after, something similar. But I'm doing it quite differently because I like to have carbs in the evening. Either way, it's working, kind of. So I'm going to let you know the macros in this. Also, when you buy tuna, don't buy albacore tuna. Buy the skipjack or yellowfin tuna. Those are much smaller tunas. So what they do is they don't eat all these, every, basically they don't eat the whole ocean. When something eats the whole ocean, it's a massive fish, it's usually high in mercury. Mercury is really bad for your joints, for your brain, for, every, for your muscles even. You don't want none of that. Trust me. So this meal comes out in, at 1,632 calories. That is 38 protein, six carbs, about five fiber, so I don't have to worry about that. And 158 grams of fat. So I'll probably eat two more times a day, who knows. But so I'm gonna eat this, work out in about two and a half hours, I'd say. That makes sense, because so it's quite a big meal. But I usually leave about two to three hours before I work out after a big meal. No pre-workout today, just green tea, purely because I have to get up at 5.30 tomorrow morning. If I had pre-workout, that wouldn't happen. I just wouldn't sleep. <laughs> but I'm gonna eat this up and I'll see you in the next clip. Let me get a massive thumbs up for Mark. Mark's a keto kitty. So I just arrived at the gym. I go to a Virgin Active in Mill Hill and I'm gonna get that back and triceps workout in. So stay tuned. So we are back in the commentary box for this back and triceps routine odd combination but it's good to switch it up always think about mixing stuff up not doing the same thing over and over again so i'm starting with pull-ups you can see it's a bit wonky my right side's a strong side the left side's the recovering side you can see i'm cheating a tiny bit but they'll get better and better and hopefully i'll be able to add weight in the next few weeks then i moved on to inverted rows so these barbell inverted rows i use a smith machine for this but you could do it without a smith machine if you don't have a smith machine in your gym or anything else these are really really good for your back muscles a lot of your rhomboids they really get hit your rhomboids the main important thing to do is keep a straight body keep that core engaged so squeeze on those abs and breathe in when you come down and out when you come up and squeeze those back muscles then i moved on to barbell bent over rows this is the most weight i've done in months literally so i thought i'd just maximize it and just get it out as many reps as I could. I'm aiming for six to eight for the rest of the workout, obviously besides the pull-ups at the beginning because I wanted to max those out. I hadn't done those in a while. And I feel like I did at this point. I was starting to tire, but I'd done four sets and completed between six to eight reps as well. So then lat pull-downs, so normal grip lat pull-downs. And yeah, these felt really good. And I managed to put on 75 kilos, not of weight on the weight rack 
and then, yeah, it felt good. I was really squeezing the bottom. So the whole point is fix yourself in a position. I like leaning back and then just make sure you squeeze and don't rock back and forth. And then bench dip. So if you can do normal dips, do normal dips. Be because of the nerve, I can't even do one normal dip. I used to be able to do 15 to 20 normal dips and add weight on top as well. So that sucks a bit, but I'm going to build up back to the normal dip. But I was doing the bench dips just to get used to the motion again and feeling that contraction in that way. Then dumbbell tricep overhead extensions, one of my favorite exercises to do. I, well, I underestimated how much I could do on this. This weight was probably about half what I went to. I probably went to about 28 in the end, which was annoying that I didn't get that on camera, but it doesn't really matter. It's all about showing you the routine I'm currently doing and I can tell you what I changed. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Let me know if you try this workout or let me know if you have any questions. Peace. So finally sitting down for my post-workout meal. This post-workout meal is about 290 grams of rump steak, some broccoli, around 200 grams of broccoli, onions, which I fried together with some garlic as well, and a bit of salt. And with the, with the steak, I left it out for about 30 minutes and put some cayenne pepper, some black pepper, salt, and a bit of oregano on top. Also added some cider vinegar to the vegetables. So this comes in about 1,200 calories. This is still targeted keto, so no carbs, I'm afraid. Even though it's after workout, my carb meal will be at dinner, so stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna eat this up, and I've got two classes to teach, then it's dinner time. So it's finally dinner time, the time is 9.50. So if anyone slates me and said, no carbs after six, well, look a here. This is around 160 grams of carbs I had what did I have before this? I had an apple and I had a clementina as well. So the, altogether, that's about 160 grams of carbs. So for the day, I've had 4,223 calories. I went slightly over, but I don't mind. I'm bulking. And then I've had 196 grams of protein out of 208. I had 187 carbs. I went over my fat, so I had 292 fat, but that's okay. I don't mind going over some days and going a bit less some days with the fat and the carbs and the protein it's okay to miss it and as long as you get more or less your macros you're fine my carbs were about 50 grams out but i'm not too fast because i'll probably have more carbs tomorrow to make up for that and then less fat and so forth that's just how my diet works especially on tkd when i'm having a majority of my fat early on in the day my end meal ends up looking like this. So it's a bit of protein, about 200 grams of chicken breast, 200 grams of buckwheat pasta. I have mixed in with a chicken breast, some butternut squash, some onions, some balsamic vinegar. I'll put the link, well not the link, the recipe in the description below. And I put some cocoa cheese to top it. That's vegan, soy free, dairy free, obviously, because it's vegan cheese. It tastes really good. If you're in the UK or if you can see the cocoa cheese, the cocoa cheddar, try it out. It's really, really, really good. And the buckwheat pasta, I'll put the link in the description because there's a lot of buckwheat pasta, which is not 100% buckwheat. It's sometimes like 20, 30% buckwheat. This is 100% buckwheat. So it's gluten-free. Buckwheat's more of a seed or like kind of like a pseudo seed rather than a grain. So it's really light in your intestinal tract. It's high in protein and it's also really slow release and it's packed full of like micronutrients as well and if anyone tells you do not eat carbs late don't eat carbs for dinner just shake your head at them there's no evidence to suggest that eating carbs at night time puts on more weight there's no eat <laughs> anything to suggest the other way around as well but i find it helps to sleep Carbs at nighttime release serotonin and melatonin, which help you get into a deeper sleep at nighttime. That's why I love this TKD life. I can go all throughout the day with having no carbs, which means, well, pretty much no carbs, low carbs. If you're getting a few like from vegetables and stuff, that's fine. I don't even count vegetables unless it's like carrots or beetroots or a root vegetable, for instance. You can go throughout the day having no carbs, means you get no insulin spikes. Well, not no insulin spikes, I'm talking crap. Low levels of insulin spikes. When that means you get less crashes and you're much more energetic. And in the evening, you can have that high carb meal. And if you feel tired after that, that's okay because I'm gonna sleep in about two hours time. And I'm gonna sleep like an absolute G because of that. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, 
hit that subscribe button. I'm almost at 100 kilos, so a few more episodes of Road to 100, and hopefully these guns will be bigger. And I'll be at 100 kilos, but hopefully. Weight's a funny thing, it fluctuates. And so with TKD as well, another thing is I've managed to maintain quite lean bulk, and I've done it in quite a quick time, I think. Tell me if I'm wrong. But I think I'm gonna go bigger than 100 kilos. The goal is probably to get to probably around 110 and see where I'm at, try and maintain that leanness. The ultimate goal will be 110 and about 8% body fat. So I actually, before I did TKD, I did a full carb diet. Anyway, enough ranting. I'll talk about that in another video. But until the next video, keep pushing those limits. And if you're new, like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit those bell, that bell notification to get notified every time I post a video. And I will see you in the next video.